Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Victoria 3 and to the British Empire, where rebellious Canadians are being crushed into oblivion uh, and will soon no longer exist. In fact, I think that is it. There's no more front. I just need to wait for them to to give up. fine. Our tooling issues are being fixed. Uh, we've almost finished getting the tooling workshops done. So the price of tools should have dropped. Yeah, it's now down to a more reasonable figure. But we have problems with coal, lead, and wood. So Coal, I've already queued up a bunch. Lead, I've queued up a bunch. Logging camps. Uh, I've already got some in Wales. Uh, let's get some more in the Highlands. Get some more in Ireland. Oops. Really, I need my colonies to get on that. But that'll help with that. Lead mines are already queued up. Everything else is looking pretty healthy. Again, we just need more, more of everything. <laughs> I, I can't directly build stuff in Hudson Bay Company. So I need the Hudson Bay Company to do it. But yes, uh, hopefully they should see the price of goods in the British market for hardwood especially. is expensive. And then go, oh, it's expensive. I should maybe... Um, I could make a lot of money if I started to look into that. So we've got sawmills. Uh, give me harbour production. Don't have steam donkeys yet. I could get rail transportation. That would increase my efficiency a bit. Hmm. <laughs> So yeah, I need I need the Hudson Bay Company to get on with it basically <laughs> and build build more logging camps, which the the AI should do. Like it should just see that it could make loads of money by building more. And meanwhile, we've got yeah loads of stuff going off. Again, just. A massive build queue. We are, yeah, we are starting to eat through those reserves. But uh, you've got to spend money to make money, and we do have a lot of money. Come on, are you going to give up yet? Yeah. Minus 82, yeah, a couple of weeks. I'll give up. Mm, 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 mm. No, no, no. Um, the the Canadians will like if I can see Hudson Bay, Ontario. What have they got? Yeah, they got some logging camps, and the AI will go. Oh, these are actually kind of profitable, and I'll maybe consider expanding them or building some more. Again, Lower Canada, yeah, they've got some logging camps as well. Um, if they're profitable, then they'll they'll do it. Uh, but it's hard with any, not, not just regular wood. Um, yep, goodbye, silly old peasants. <laughs> I 
again, that's a problem for the Hudson Bay Company to deal with. Right. Isolated state regions. Yeah, we're working on that. We're working on all the things. I just need more buildings to be builded. That's a word. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I think uh, I need the Iron Confederacy to be absorbed. Uh, where is it? Which is going to be about a year. Stuff going, uh, not too bad actually. Slowly building up. Uh, yeah, we do have Sierra Leone. Okay, cool. So maybe go and beat up some African minor countries. It's not very nice of me, but we could do. Like we could take the orange free state. Oh, that is someone at my door. That is extremely awkward. I'm going to pause the recording and I'll be back in a sec. Uh, welcome back. <laughs> yes. Um, chat, chat was asking me, and I was m musing about, you know, our, our colonization efforts in Africa are slow, but what we can do is we can start beating up other people so we could go for a creating a dominion so that's a semi-autonomous uh realm so doing this would give us six infamy but we might also be able to simply outright conquer them yeah for 10 infamy which is not that much more very unlikely anyone's going to get involved and that's potentially gold fields so let's go for it let's start a play for it <laughs> yeah, there there were in, there wasn't indeed an Anglo Zulu war. You are maybe thinking of the film Zulu, which is about the Battle of Rourke's Drift, which happened after the British basically marched in, forgot that the Zulus knew what they were doing. Um, but uh, yeah, the it didn't end well for the Zulus. If you uh, look. <laughs> And look into what happened after Rock's Drift. The British basically came back with competent generals in charge and completely annihilated the Zulu forces. So, um, not uh, not a particularly glorious part of our history. But um, <laughs> yes, we're we're gonna gonna make a bit of a play here. Doesn't look like. Yeah, there are no major powers with interests down here. Portugal's kind of on our side anyway. Uh, and I don't think the Boers are going to get involved on the Zulu side. Let's let's see if they make a play for it. Hmm. Why are they less happy? No idea. Just being grumpy. Intelligence, yeah. Not slightly grumpy. They are worried, the Zulus. And I am going to conquer them, so they will almost certainly fight for this. Mm-mm. <laughs> the emu war <laughs> that would be a funny mod if someone put that in <laughs> yeah 
they only have 15 battalions. How many can they actually pull? They could pull up to 25. So the Cape Colony is already mustering forces, so we should probably get some of our own. Uh, John Seaton's forces should be more than enough. Actually, send uh, Theodore Maitland. Mobilize, advance. And this will make the Zulu even more worried. Just invade Africa. Yep, yeah, that's that's pretty much the plan. But we kind of have to do it in drips and drops. Otherwise, the all the other great powers start realizing what you're doing, and uh, start trying to interfere and stop you, basically. Now, if free trade doesn't go through on this tick, I might just drop it because it is causing a lot of radicalism. Oh, actually, the Duke of Wellington <laughs> supports it. Okay, we, we that should help a lot, actually. So we can either go for 15% enactment chance, or 10, but the Duke of Wellington gets more popularity, and the industrialists get more pop attraction. No, I just want it passed. It is causing a lot of annoyance, but you know what? I don't, these these people piss me off anyway. So, certainly four million. <laughs> uh, might be worth going for another tick. On it, but if I don't get it, or if I get a a bad event, I think I will just drop it. We can go for it later. Right, how are you doing? In diplomatic play? Uh, not too bad. Let's just speed up time a little bit. Pretty sure they're going to fight. Yep. Looks like it. Uh, coal is still very expensive. But we should be working on that. Postal savings unlocked. Ooh. Nice. All cash reserves. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a war. All right, Thomas, James, uh, thank you for dropping by. Do we have any mobilized troops? Yeah, we've got... Um, we've sent 25 battalions over there. <gasps> oh, quinine. Good, 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 good. Uh, technology. Yeah, I kind of want production centering that. I go for nitroglycerin. Yeah, that gives me more production. GNT term, yeah, exactly. But it should mean that our colonies are a little bit going a little bit faster. Uh, A little bit. And we can increase our colonial affairs institution. We have actually got a lot of institutions we could increase, but uh, we don't have the bureaucracy for it at the moment. Uh, yeah, we are. They've just got a lot of troops. Yeah. Got irregular infantry. Not quite.
quite sure how they're managing that with only 14 defense. Numbers are way higher. Uh, might just because we because we're late to the party. Go on to uh, defend front if you can. Oh, he's fighting a battle, so he can't. Makes sense. Boom, there we go, that's more like it. It just took us a while to get there. So they made a little bit of progress. Never heard of a UK short of bureaucracy. Well, we we have a lot, it's just we're also using a lot. Um <laughs> So we need we need more. We need more government administrations, but we need more of everything else as well, so. Yeah, here we go. This is more like it. Let's all push, push the front back. We should be able to take him over, no problem. Of course, we could just make the war end much, much faster by uh, doing a naval invasion. But I don't, I don't mind it going slowly. It should, shouldn't be any problems. I don't really want to spend a ton of money. I don't have to spend. We need that for buildings! So many buildings! Yep. Yeah, they're pushing north. And they'll they'll push right back over the border. But you know, you're trying to fight through mountains, it's it's gonna be slow progress. Yes, you need more of everything. <laughs> this is very true of the Industrial Revolution, and it, that is a good place to be in. Um however, what you'll find later on in the game is you're gonna start getting to the point where you can't just have more. Like at the moment, if I need more coal, I can just go, oh, well, still got loads of coal to dig up. Just let's go for it. But eventually, you, you know, you're exploiting all of the coal fields that you have access to. And then things start to become a little bit different. Um, so it's the, it's the classic wide versus tall. It's like, well, once you've run out of, once you're max maxing out your coal, what do you do? Well, you can import some from someone else who does still have lots of coal or you could go and colonize or conquer get some more <gasps> yes it went through and i got an achievement poppycock oh sorry poppy dock <laughs> oh yes yes look at that eight a level eight port and export at least two thousand five hundred units of opium to foreign markets yes good Good. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, free trade goes through. Brilliant. 50% trade route volume, which is absolutely fantastic because... Oh, yeah, we need way more convoys, but we can get on that. Um, and we get a little bureaucracy back. And we make more money. Huzzah. Now we just have to make sure that this goes away. Really, Chile's importing paper from us. How expensive is paper in the Chilean market? Good grief. And we get nitroglycerin. Okay, so... Let's go to our... Mines. Uh, yeah. 
it does um it does make things a little bit more dangerous. <laughs> But we'll make coal super cheap and explosives very expensive. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Boom, boom time. <laughs> Don't play the game like this uh, if you're playing a small country because it's not not a good idea. I know. Who cares? Who cares about some workers getting blown up? Right? <laughs> it's alright, we'll research dynamite uh, quick as we can. In fact, let's immediately go for dynamite. We've recognized that um, nitroglycerin is unsafe after using it, and we're working on a replacement. <laughs> uh, doo -doo -doo. Putting up a fight. Bosh. That's going to split the fronts, but we should be able to deal with this pocket. Oh, wait. Did we trap their their army in a pocket? I think we have. I think the 21 divisions are here, up in the mountains. Oh, that could be really bad for them. So basically, they, they've retreated up into the mountains. Better defensive position, but then we've just gone around them and cut them off. Ooh, yikes. Oh, that's the end of the year. Um, but there's a diplomatic play going on in Germany. What's going on? Revolutionary Bremen <laughs> against regular Bremen. Um, okay. Where the hell is Revolutionary Bremen? Yeah, here. <laughs> Bremen versus Revolutionary Bremen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, okay. I... What? <laughs> Sweden and Russia are supporting Revolutionary Bremen. What? <laughs> okay. Sure, whatever. You you deal with that. <laughs> I really, really do not care. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Victoria 3. Bye for now.